So, this has been a bit of a weird one. A lot of the best and worst the Wanderers have had to offer. Hmm. I mean, the one, the one thing that got my goat most of all was uh, Lamoth scoring a wonderful goal, being clearly onside, and the, and the linesman thinking otherwise. That would have done it. That would have been enough. There was a lot of play out from the back from both teams, a lot of, but Halifax was playing a much more aggressive form than they usually do, and a more adaptive form than they usually do, which was something I really liked to see, even bar, even despite the result. They, they, um, in the first half, in the second half, they turned into a full spearhead. That was pretty cool to secure the game. Got a penalty near the end, uh. Unfortunately, we conceded not long after. I like our, I like how how much more aggressive and adaptive we've been. But I think it's gonna take a while to work the kinks out of it. If as soon as we can uh, it, refine it and get all the mistakes out of it, I think it'll it'll mean a lot more for this season. Playoffs are still fucked. By I me, mean, next season should be a lot stronger, especially with even a not quite a hundred percent. Probably going to have him on the bench for a while. One nil. One nil kind of concerned me. One nil was... Uh, it was a cross that... I mean, I don't think Oxner did too badly there, to be honest. It sort of took a weird bend at the worst possible time for one nil. I made a joke in the Discord about, about it like being the magic bullet conspiracy theory in the JFK given how given how in given the timing of the curve but sometimes a good curl ends up doing that the most accidental goal I've seen that sucked um, they scored another one from a mistake at the opposite end when Daniels and JGL cl crashed into each each other um i mean and then uh tiso sort of like just just played around the midfield he did some of the best work you'll see from from uh from everyone involved in ottawa and then just and just like went through it daniels doesn't get a poor because he also set up the lamoth goal not long ago lamoth this is the best game lamoth ever had and i love it if he has even if he has other games like that, he's going to be hell of good, hell of a good. What really kind of sucked was JGL and Tabby getting booked, especially JGL because it means he's out for Pacific. That might make the difference. Then again, two, if two if they start two Saint in Pacific, that's that's going to be very exploitable. And Mondway's pretty good at exploiting the psychological part of the game. Being a big, being a big target. Amla's pretty good at linking and creating chances. I'm glad we got him. Um, I think I'll just do a big old video about our overall transfers. Not, I only did a this a specific one for Mondway. because I was it was it was just so much anticipation there. Yeah, two one was really nice team goal from the midfield and forwards alike. Two two was stock standard Mondway setting, drawing a penalty, drawing a foul in the box, and Salter sending that thing home. Three two was a heartbreaker, but even more of a heartbreaker given the offside goal, the nature of one nil, and the mistake at the opposite end of the pitch that somehow led to. Led to 2 0. The game was a bit of a mess, and it took a while for me to decide exactly how I was going to review it, and here I am. Not sure if I'm doing it justice here, but it's. Well, I gotta do these reviews, and I enjoy doing these reviews. I say if we keep trying this and improving the way we do this sort of thing, I think this is what Dorado Ball is. 
and our defenders can get a little better at this in particular. Uh, all the defenders had relatively poor games. Um, whereas Lamoth and several, Lamoth, Omar, and a couple up front have had good ones. It's rare that Fernandez has a poor game, but two nil and but two nil and three two came through his side. That doesn't happen often. He's he's definitely a better move it up man than a defender, but he's been a good defender usually. This is an outlier. I don't expect I don't expect any other games like this from Fern. I think he's gonna get his. I think he's going to do well again, both defense and moving the ball up. Anyhow, um, Pacific is actually two hours from now. Um, there are a few reasons to be concerned and a few reasons to look forward to it. Here's hoping we get something out of it. Ideally, three points. Uh, up the walk.